Okay, I mean, Germany's lost all of Nancy to the French. Again, I'm not super surprised by that. Uh, the reason be being that Germany sent so many troops to Russia that... You know, I think this was kind of like inevitable, uh... Situation. Please just kill this guy. Like, you have overwhelming firepower against them. You could just do it. You know what I mean? And they're all slowly marching home. Transmere, I don't think, will try to attack us. Like, we'll probably give them, like, all of Siberia, and hopefully that'll be enough to, uh, calm their interest. Okay, and after that, we'll just keep on. You know what? 152 days. Molly's capitulated. Yeah, once you're done this... You're all just going to join Blue Army. Then come down towards the Netherlands. Yeah, it's going to take you a while to get there, sure. How much naval superiority do they even have? The answer is none. Do they even have much of a navy? No, it got mostly sunk, which is nice. How many troops do the British even have? 46 to 118. The French have probably about 150-ish. CNT is going to lose, which is going to give Carlos Spain, hopefully just a direct border with the uh, French. Portugal might capitulate, but that, you know, that is what it is. Anything else that's really happening in the world? I mean, again, I think CSA is still going to lose. They'll probably kill Mexico afterwards. We'll see if there's any, like, open provinces here. Okay, no, they're, they're all pretty secure down here. Let's go up a bit. You have, like, no range at all, do you? How do you, how do you not have range? Which one of you don't have the range for this? Max range, 1,500 kilometers. Unless it's only using my closest naval base as a, as a point. Okay, well, you know, these ships, these older ships... You're going to be a different task force. You still can't, huh? You're not... You have 2,500 kilometers. Okay, there's nobody up in, um... Rosslyn. So I guess an invasion up into Scotland is our, going to be our first, uh... Attempt here. Do I not have naval invasion tech? I don't. It's gonna only take 37 days, but still. The fact that I don't have naval invasion tech? Do I at least have naval superiority of these areas? Yes. Like, easily. So basically, just try to land all in Scotland, take over this area. Don't be like the Canadians and. Usually what the AI does is they abandon the port, which is why they die very, very quickly. Yeah, now the Germans are here, basically in full force. So they need capitulated for a second time. Because once Germany, I think, has a breakthrough in France, like, France doesn't stand much of a chance. At this point, Germany only fighting a one-front war... I believe leans heavily, heavily towards the Reichspact now. Especially if, if maybe Austria ever decides to join, but I don't think they will at this point. Okay, the Canadians are still trying to land in places that make no sense. 
So if we 600 political power, 25 days for this. I mean, I guess we'll just upgrade and buy these things because, like, why not? It'll, it'll get the pop-up off my screen. That's at least one thing. Okay, Lisbon's fallen. Okay, let's kind of keep an eye out on a lot of things over here. Portuguese Empire's collapsed. Like, Canada. Okay. You only have to defend this one province down here in order to not screw this up. It's, it's really, really, really simple for you to do that, right? Maybe so 17 days. I'm just surprised we don't start off with naval invasion tech. To me, it seems like a very basic technology. Yeah, it's like, I know, I know Jordan needs to be losing for Austria to get involved, but, like, it's either that or I think if the SRI annexes all of Italy, then they'll also get involved. So, if, I think if two Sicily capitulates, then Austria will also get involved, but, like, how many troops do you guys have? You probably have, like, an extra 100, 100, at least 100 divisions. Completely fresh. That would be so nice to join the war effort, but no. Also, yeah, the Ottomans still cannot beat the Egyptians. They're pushing down the Nile now, but they can't take Alexandria. Which I think is the city they need to actually win. You know what, Canada? You're actually, you're actually doing decently right now. I'm hoping you're not overextending yourself. Which is definitely a situation that you guys have uh, gotten yourself into in the past. You've declared a war on Uruguay. You're at war Brazil. You're, wait, you have a faction? South American Socialist States? I didn't even know you could make a faction. Okay, and Germany has retaken Nancy. Like, how much, how much manpower do the French have right now? Still a million, huh? They've been hauling Newcastle. Maybe to come try to defend this area down here. That would be my guess. I mean, taking Newcastle would be better than Scotland. Uh, after that, what were, what were we researching before? Infantry equipment? Yeah, we've been preparing for so long that we can just invade right away. Yeah, so we take Newcastle, 10 divisions, flood all this area out. Barcelona has fallen, so I think, yeah, the Carlists are definitely, uh, they're probably gonna win, like, right now. They need to do the restoration, and maybe after that, they might... Maybe join the Entente, giving France another front line. Which would make our lives pretty uh, easy. I'm sure our uh, soldiers are happy being in sunny old England. As opposed to... Uh, being in a dreary Russian winter for like two years. Okay. You were in a port province. Go back. I don't understand why they do this. Go down to Leeds, Manchester. Go down to Liverpool. Go to Sheffield. Edinburgh, Glasgow, Roth, and Dundee. These are all cities we want to take. You're in a faction. But that's okay. Okay, the Canadians are here. Okay, our reinforcements are arriving. So we'll probably get this whole area just to the um, Canadians. Because we'll be nice like that. India has fallen. Prince of Federation will probably unite this whole area soon. They might actually join the Reich's Pact, I think. But they also could join the Japanese, which would be, uh, bad. Okay, go take Hull. Push your way down south.
Yeah, then take this port. We don't want the uh, British being able to come down here. Or I guess up here, technically. We have, you know, we have a decent manpower. We've captured a lot of British factories. Okay, Germany and Japan's ended hostilities. Come down to Birmingham, you're going to come down to London. And hopefully, with what the Canadians have captured, we might be able to get Britain to capitulate soon. Yeah, Japan's basically taking over all of uh, the Netherlands and Germany's colonies. What if you like. I mean, how close are the British to capitulating? They're only like halfway there. All this area in the north will fall. So yeah, the invasion of England, uh, significantly faster, I would say, than the invasion of Russia. Like, no contest. Like, Canada, if you want to go take London, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no. Yeah, so you have now unified everything. You're going to annex all of India and Nepal. United the Cold Prosperity Sphere. So I wonder if you want to join the Japanese. Join. You should join Germany. That's that's my take. And it's not just because it all it helps me out. Yes, now you're going to play down to south. We don't need these lines at all. Birmingham's worth 25, Liverpool's worth 25, London's worth 50. You know, I'm going to send an attaché to the uh, Canadians. Also, I want to see what they're actually doing down here. Oh, they have, like, nothing. You have the, you can double the, the, your garrison in Britain if you just sent these guys down there. But you're not going to do that, are you? Let's try to fight this way. I wonder... I mean, I guess our Navy, we don't need to be over here anymore. I think we did lose a bunch of submarines. We did have... We definitely had more than this. I think we probably just let our own ships get sunk. That's kind of okay. I actually don't think it's a big deal. Thank you for the equipment. Am I out of guns? I am. That's not good. Anyway, you guys combine. We'll see what those French are up to. The guys, troops over here. Usually, like, this area is a little bit less defended. Khan is defended. There's nobody in Brest. Okay, so th this looks like a, a way for us to enter the country. I mean, how many troops do the British have? They have 2 million manpower, huh? That is pretty good. We don't have any tanks whatsoever. So, you know what? Let's get the 1942 artillery pieces. CSA is still going to lose. I actually think the American Union State might actually have this. Once these guys turn on each other or they sign, like, a, a truce... Thank you, uh, Cuba and Norway for equipment. I mean, you can see Germany's now, they're starting to push out again now that they've, uh, killed, you know, killed the Russians.
And he's like, I would give Canada this territory, but I'm not allowed to because they're not in our faction. Canada, Venezuela ended hostility. Venezuela took some territory. I mean, the British can't dislodge us at this point. Looks like they are going to dislodge the Canadians, though. Uh, so thanks a lot, Canada. Once again for nothing. Absolutely jack shit. So I guess we'll recall our attache. Don't we have military access through you? Guns. Should I send this to anybody? Well, not not send it, but like, should I give this territory to somebody? Okay, no, they they did sink a. Uh, yeah, they sink like a lot of our ships. You know what? Let let's not be here. Scouting operations have not gone 100 percent on uh, plan. We did lose a lot of sailors for basically no reason. Okay, your civil war is over. You should join the Entente right away, because that actually helped me out. I mean, actually, how much would it help me out? And the Ottomans have finally won their war. Long, long, long after it became of any relevance to us. Guess you're also a war team for now, right? Yeah. You are in the Cold Prosperity Sphere. If you join the faction, we might see the Japanese join the war, but I don't know how much that would actually really benefit us. Or if it would benefit us actually, like, in any way whatsoever. But I don't I don't think it would. Yeah, and Germany is now slowly pushing her way through France. So it's taken a while. Yeah, let's let's send troops to help out the uh, the Canadians over here. We have air superiority over Britain. We do, like by a long shot. Yeah, so sail around here. Four infantry divisions is not going to be much, but as long as this area doesn't fall. Are we feeling a bit, little bit more okay? This area right here has nobody defending it. So it could be a point which we'd want to target. Okay, Canada, I will hold on to this area for you. I, sh I shouldn't have to, but I will. Yeah, so we'll hold this front. Canada, just land more troops here. Like, you don't need all this. All, th all these people could be here or, you know, invade one of these other ports. I'm not, I'm not too sure where you're even wanting to be. Also, you know what, Germany? Uh, give control of all of this. I mean, I don't want to garrison it. And you might send troops over here to help me out. I mean, you're actually, you're doing okay against France. Like, you're starting to push through. Once you're done, like, once you're past that initial, like, border section... Your options are going to increase substantially. Like, once you've reached, like, you know, like, the plains. Into, like, the farmlands. Like, most of Par most of France is pretty flat. Like, they've got some, like, forest here. But I don't think that's actually, like, a major concern. 
course the Canadians, of course the Canadians try to do another naval invasion over here instead of just landing in the port they already have. But you know, like, why, why wouldn't you? Thank you, Germany. Okay, Germany, this is actually way more support than I would have expected. They're even sending troops up here, which I think is kind of like not what they should do, but that's okay. So why not, now if like there's German troops in the area, whether or not I should try to pull out, not pull out necessarily, but you know, invade somewhere else. Yeah, we have full nails for already basically everywhere. We're gonna land in France. Spread out like a beautiful eagle. Japan's gonna war on the old Chinese Union. Okay, it's time for one little scout trip. See where the French are weakest. Okay, they have troops here. And we have, we have civilian factories now. I guess we'll build more military factories in Finland. Actually, was there anybody here I didn't even see? Yes, there definitely are. We're still holding on to here. The Germans can't enter Canadian territory, so you know what? I probably should, um... Cancel our military access. 